All right, Chris, thanks. New at 5, the former Port Clinton fire chief has been indicted by a grand jury on 10 counts of various crimes, including one count of voyeurism and two counts of gross sexual imposition. Megan Hartnett, she joins us live in the studio. So walk us through what we know at this point. The Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation began investigating former Fire Chief Ken Johnson in June of last year based on allegations he had sexually harassed a woman who also worked at the Port Clinton Fire Department. The woman alleges Johnson began sexually harassing her in 2021, claiming he was making sexually suggestive comments to her at work, showing up at her home while she was on bed rest, and groping and forcibly kissing her. Johnson was placed on leave in June of 2023 and two investigations were opened. Clemens Nelson Law Firm conducted an external investigation on Johnson. That report says Johnson would finalize time cards for the department and there were over 60 discrepancies on the woman's time card. She received pay for hours not work and sick hours were counted as regular hours, leading to her receiving close to $2,900 of benefit in a six month period. The report also shows Johnson donating 240 of his sick hours to the woman, which equates to 38 hour workdays. The report includes text messages from Johnson to her asking for photos and for inappropriate favors. Johnson was fired earlier this year and filed a lawsuit claiming defamation and wrongful termination, but that case was dismissed by a judge on July 16th. Yesterday, Johnson was indicted on the 10 charges, including voyeurism, menacing by stalking, telecommunications harassment, and two counts of gross sexual imposition, which is a felony. Johnson is expected to be back in court on September 4th. This is a case we will be following and keep you updated online and on air. Reporting in studio, Megan Hartnett, WTOL 11.